everybody welcome back um have a new video today wanted to show off these cases and they are <coughs> a uh, photo and craft keeper boxes uh, i got these at Hobby Lobby and they had them for 50% off so um, basically I got two for the price of one and the idea behind getting these because I had seen them previously and thought hmm, what could I really use these for because they were so colorful and you can take the individual boxes out and I was like I could use them for my pin collection because I have quite a few more so than what these two boxes could fill. I actually probably need about two more. But um, just wanted to show these off, give you an idea of maybe how you could organize your pins um, in a way to um, keep them out separated by brand or separated by color or um, separated by the type of pen, whether it's rollerball, whether it's um, gel, um, that kind of thing, or felt tip, whatever you're into. You can see I'm into quite a lot. So each case comes, each case can hold quite a few pens. I haven't actually counted the number of pens. I just would put them in here and see how many would fit as far as how well the lid would close and i do have some that's a collection that's big enough to take up two cases so these are my paper paper made ink joys and next some of these snap together really well and some don't but these are the uh, True Red from Staples. They write really well for a store brand um, for a store brand pen because um, this is a Staples product, even though it's kind of like Tool is the Office Max slash Office Depot premium brand of pen. It's actually a store brand pen. And they write really well. The colors of the barrels is exactly the same color as the ink. And that's really nice because sometimes you'll have a gel ink barrel and you've got to write with it. And it's not quite exactly the same color. And next is uh, Artist Loft. These are gel pens. They come from Michaels. They write really well. They color really well. This is the collection I had to take up to because I bought this set online because you cannot, as far as I know, find them in a store anywhere, Walmart, Target, anywhere. The Crayola Take Note gel pens. They come in a huge assortment of colors. And I love that. I mean, I have, I, I, I mean, I have not seen Paper Mate come out with this big a collection. Anybody who has gel pens, and these are great. They write great. I really like these. And like I said, it, it took two to put them all together. are fairly new I think um, I haven't had them long the um, uniball spectrum they are I might have showed this off before I think I might have had the black one and maybe a pen case but they have a, a nice length as far as the grip and the grip goes the rubber goes almost to the very end there is this just little plastic part here um, but it's a really nice pen, got a really nice grip, because I'm one of the, I, I write like this, I'm not like this, I'm like this. And um, 
The color is really nice. Right now, it only comes in purple, pink, orange, blue, and green, and then you have a set of the black. There's not a very wide range of colors. I don't know if they'll come out with a bigger set. I guess it just depends on how popular they become. Next is the set of Acroball pens that I got for Christmas. And they come in silver, gold, blue, um, pink, and green. They're pastels. Uh, these came from Amazon. They uh, came in a packaging that uh, maybe I should have kept. But I'm just not real big on keeping the packages. Um, that all the writing on it was from Japan. So um, this is truly an item that you would not find in a store. And I was very lucky to get that for Christmas. Um, next is just some overflow. Um, these are some pens that I got online. I got the Schneider Slide Basic and Fine Tip. And these are um, just a fine tip pen that kind of reminds you of maybe the... I guess Muji store pens. They write really good though. I love using that at work. So these are just my extras. Like I said, I don't like keeping the packaging. So um, this is great that I found these boxes to be able to use them as storage so I can just easily find them. Um, I have a collection of Papermate Ink Joy 500 RT and the 550 RT. And the difference is one has a clear barrel and the other has a solid barrel and the grips are different as well and they write exactly the same they are still uh, both are 1.0 uh, millimeter tip um, I like both of them the barrels are very colorful I'm not a big fan of the uh, viscosity of the ink I think I've said in a previous video, I like pens that write more dry and scratchy than um, what they call a low viscosity pen, which is supposed to be very fluid and flows very easily and cause less hand fatigue because you don't have to put a lot of pressure on the uh, tip of the, the pen to get the ink to blow. So the next case, these are just a variety of pens that came from either the Dollar Store or Dollar General. Um, has like, this one has like a wood grain look to it. It is a plastic, you know, I think I could pay like a dollar for them. Come in a pack of four. These I bought individually. They're really cool. I've given a couple of these away to some co-workers and then of course you know you'll go in and these are the ink these are called the, the couture and I think they have a pretty pattern and they have a nice rubber um, grip on it and um, these ones are just they were they weren't anything I was specifically looking for it was just something that us I just go in the store and I'm like, oh, I don't have those. That's pretty neat. I think I'll get them. They're only a dollar. Yeah. These are uh, crystal pens. These came in a set from Amazon. I have quite a few pens that are sets from Amazon. Um, they did have the little rubber piece on the end for a stylus. I did not like how that looked. I would rather have it have a look of not having anything at the tip, which is kind of like the um, pen gems, but um, I don't want to buy those either because I just think they're just too expensive for um, the type of pen that they are because they're just like these. They're a very slim pen. Um, they're a twist pen and I just, I've just never been a big fan of pen gems. They're very beautiful. There's nothing wrong with them. If you're a big fan of those, um, that's just your thing. But um, if I could get something that's like them and pay 
you know, for a whole box of all different colors. Okay, that's good enough for me. Next case has, I can get this open, my Sharpies. These are the ones that um, came out, oh, what, two, three years ago. Um, they came out in all different colors because this was the traditional Sharpie that was the small tipped pen. Ooh, I can get that. Yep, yeah, there we go. And then they came out with all the assorted colors in which um, I don't know if they've ever come out with more than these. I've got more in the box. Once they've expanded the color range, but um, that was a gift from my husband. And never was really a fan of the um, paper made flares until I found that they actually had the um, micro tip or really or extra fine tip because I didn't like the ones that were the solid pens. I, I don't know, just for me, I just felt like that tip was just too big. But um, yeah. When I saw that they had that, and, and then unfortunately, later on, when they came out with the pastels, I was like, oh, yeah, I guess I might as well do that, too. So, <laughs> I have those as well. And here is my box with the friction uh, click pens. The white ones. They are a fine tip, and they tr and it's truly a fine tip pen. They come in a set of three, and uh, these are like Office Max, Office Depot. I haven't seen them anywhere else. I'm sure you can find them, maybe Walmart. Um, but these are really great, and even though it doesn't have a needle point, it is still a fine tip. I have those. I have um, the traditional black. That's a point seven. And then I have the original colors, which I think is. I know it came in. It was the blue and the pink. And there was another color that went with it. Maybe it was the red. But then they had a set that came out that has these gorgeous colors. Oh my gosh. I just could not believe this. Um, they're such, to me, such vintage colors. This orange and... Um, raspberry type color, a type of plum, kind of gold, um, another purple, a bright green, and a navy, navy blue. And um, I've seen them online, and then I finally found them in the store. I was like, oh, yes. In my cart they go. No doubt about that. And then I have the, the erasable felt tip. And I like these. Um, they, um, they're pretty cool. Um, I had a notebook. Uh, uh, what they call an erasable notebook. Um, and it's a very thin notebook. It doesn't have many pages in it because you can use it over and over. And it's meant to be used with these pens. And um, I used that for a while, and then I realized that when I journal, I want to be able to look back at what I've written down, at what I've done. And with that type of notebook, it's strictly for business use. You would not have that to do any kind of journaling or um, planning that 
if you decorate, use washi tape, add, you know, do like junk journals, you would not use that. And so I just, I still have it, it's somewhere. But um, I just stopped using it because I realized it just, it wasn't satisfying the need for what I wanted to do. So next, I do not use these very much because they are very, very small tipped. They are the uh, High Tech C and .25. And I had seen these on the internet. I had watched videos of other people who had these and the error and my the error that I made was buying a set that the pen tip was just too small. I should have got like a 0.38 or if they had a four, maybe even a five. Um, Cause this is extremely small and it does not write well on textured paper. It has to be very smooth paper. You cannot at all be heavy handed with this type of pen. Um, because it's like a needle. It'll just punch right through your paper instead of being able to write. <laughs> but I have them. I pay for them. I'm not going to throw them away. They're just part of my collection. Even though I may never write with them, they may dry out. And the next book. I've showed you these guys these guys off before um, in one of my pen bags um, very nice pens I have a nice place to keep them all separated and then the latest thing that everybody's kind of into until the next new great fad comes out um, the uh, S gel pens from Sharpie and I have the blue and the white, the metal that's in, I call it gun metal, and the metal pen that they call champagne. And then I have, I don't think I have any of the black ones that come in red, blue, or black in the click pens, but I do have the um, capped pens that has the needle point. Just marked myself. And uh, they write really well. The only thing, you know, bad obviously about a, this capped pen is this is, is solid. I mean, once you use it, it's gone. There's no way, there's no refill. The only ones that you could refill would be these. And you can put any kind of refill in them. Um, the ones that I find that's really the, the neatest to go back in here are the tool refills. And I know it means that it's not Sharpie uh, S-Gel ink, but um, it's giving you the option to put in an insert that has a needle point and also the, I think it's the, the Pentel. Yes, Pentel. Um, their insert will also fit inside of it. And, it, and you can get that in a needle point as well if you like the fine tips, like the um, 0 0.5 versus the 1.0. Cause I have done a lot of swapping of the inside of uh, pen barrels to find um, a, a barrel that I like as far as a grip with to combine it with a um, nice flowing ink in the side tip size that I like. Here is my multi pen box. Um, there are a lot of big pens in here. I do have um, a few. I have the regular Paper Mate that's got the regular colors, and then I have the one that has the um, brighter colors. It came in a set. It comes in a set with like two of these and then one of these. 
And these paints and mates, they came from, I ordered them online, but you can also get them at Sam's Club. It's a big collection of them. Um, this one uh, has the uh, neon barrel on it, and it actually has the neon color in, that you can use. This one is uh, a, a very nice multi pen. I almost wish they made all of them with this nice big wide barrel because this one also has a pencil in it. So it has your, uh, your basic colors and then it has um, a pencil and it also has a, a little eraser, which you know, nobody uses that because you know, you erase something a couple, erase something a couple swipes, that eraser's gone. <laughs> So everybody usually has that little pencil that's just an eraser. Um, but these were really cool. Um, I think it also came with a mini. And I have that somewhere probably for my work. And why it's not in my box. Next is the um, Pilot G2s. I do have more of these. I've got to... Uh, I gotta find them. I have a, a toolbox that has pins in it that I have not gone through to um, put everything totally together. But I do have this collection, which I thought was really cool. I think I found these at Target. Um, I love the patterns on them. And G2s write really well. Um, I also have this one. I have the other ones that go with it. That's the ones I'm talking that I think is in the other box that I have to just find them and dig them out and put them all together. Um, I've got individual colors. This was a set that uh, came together. It's like a hunter green, um, a purple, and um, a nice, beautiful blue. This is a set. And then, of course, I've just got the regular black. And I know I have more of these. And I even have one that is that my dad gave me that is um, like the G2 Pro that is just meant for you to just buy refills and put in it. And um, I have it in a special place because my dad's no longer with me and he's been uh, passed for a few years. So things like that, that since he knew I liked collecting pens, I'd keep that in a different place. I keep those together. So tool pens, this is something everybody went crazy about, just like the S-Pens a while back, is the metallics. So I bought a small pack to start with, and then I went back and I was like, well, shoot, I better get the big pack before they all get gone. <laughs> so um, the small pack had a different design. They were mainly... Um, they just had cute little designs on them. This was the four pack. And then there was the rest. And the only ones I can say that are the same are is the plum, the gray, the navy, and the purple. So this was the whole pack. These four Sorry. These four are exactly like the four pack. It's just they have a different pattern barrel. And then these are the ones that were the other colors in the big pack. And they write really nice. They have very nice pens. Um, and, and you have to get them when you can because when I talked to the lady at the store at Office Max Lash Depot, um, they're seasonal, so they may come back out again next fall, or I mean this fall or winter, or they may not. They may come out with something very different, so um, you just have to get them when you can. And then here is a box of just the traditional gel pens. I have black, blue, um, some red. And it's kind of intermixed. I have some that are gel and some that are rollerball. But since they're all the same style pen, they go in the same box. And more uh, 
paper mate these are the paper mate ink joystick pens the 100s um, 1.0 and i do have them in the cap i have the big collection that's in the cap and then i have a few just a few of the click pens and i like the way these write i know the tips probably are not that very much different um actually they are um I just, I don't know. I like the way the stick pen tip is. I don't know if there would be any kind of real difference in how the ink lays down on the paper. But it's just, I just like the way the, the tip of it looks compared to the clip pen. And I think I've said this before. I also have the one that has the stylus on the end. I don't have it in this box because it's in one of my bags that I carry to work. Um, I think it writes even better, even though it has um, basically the same kind of tip as the stick pen, the regular stick pen without the stylus on the end. For some reason, I don't know if maybe it's just the weight of it because it's got that little bit of extra on the end, the metal with the, with the, the stylus. I don't know. To me, it just writes better. And these are more tool pens. These are the capped gel pens and then I do have these which were a collection that I don't know if you can find them anymore whether they're on eBay or um, on Amazon I have no idea this was also another collection they were black that come in with clips that have rose gold um, gold and kind of a um, bronze very nice very nice and this was one that I got it was not in a set it was just they have these little bins at the front that they'll have like pen tails they'll have tool pens in them and I got this one and this is the only one that I have that looks like this. I don't know if it was ever a collection. This was when I first started getting these pens. And then next is going to be the Papermate Profile. I'll, so every once in a while, just get this thing this bug about wanting to write with a bold pen. And I really love the grips on these pens. I've even decorated some of them with some washi tape at the top because they'll be that little sticky um, barcode if you buy them individually up here at the top. And I don't, I don't like those. I take those off the pens. I mean, I will, and, and if I can't get the sticky off, I know you can use Goo Gone. Um, you can also, there's a trick that where you take tape and you stick it over the sticky and the sticky on the tape will take the sticky off of the surface. Um, that works too. Um, but sometimes I just, I just, you know, put some washi on it. Then I know it's mine because I've actually worked places where other people like to use these pens as well. So at least that identifies this as being my pen. And then... They recently came out with the profile that's in 1.0. Because I was like, oh, you know, when I've got these pens, the bold pens, I was like, if they could just make it in just a regular size, because I really like how the barrel feels. And I would even go for having a 0.5 in this, a fine point in this. I think that would be just great to have a fine point and also have it in all these colors in a fine point because the uh, 1.0 it's great um as far as like i said i like the feel of the barrel but it's it's a 1.0 it's it's 1.0 is just like every other 1.0 that's out there and it only comes in i think like black and blue they don't have it in any colors unless it's Unless they sell it like that in a different country, which a lot of these co companies do, they'll sell something somewhere else, Japan, China, and um, 
it'll be something we can't get here and you have to know somebody or be a pen pal literally a pen pal um, and send stuff back and forth to each other i think i might have done i did a yes i did a um pen swatch of the um crystal pens the crystal the crystal up pens i have those um i have the regular crystal um pens as the one point six so they're the bold tip and they're okay they're okay i would have to say that as far as bic goes the standard pen that has always been around this one that comes in blue black and red their classic pen has been just my favorite. Um, I mean, you can buy them when anywhere, uh, and like a pack of, I think it's like 10 for, you know, next to nothing. And especially when school starts, you can just get bags and bags and bags of those. And the ink in them lasts. Oh, I can't remember. There's there's something online, probably one of their, web, their websites, um, that tells exactly how long, how many times, if you just continuously wrote with that pen, how many times that line would go around the planet Earth. I think that's pretty amazing. And these I've shown off probably in a, a pen bag video. These are the Bic uh, Reaction. These are the ones that, um, you know, if you write, it actually gives a little bit. These are supposed to be for heavy handed people. And I don't know of any place you can get these except maybe if you order them through um, a pen company who does logos because I've never seen them in a store. I actually saw this on a person's desk in a medical office and they didn't have any extra and her version was a mechanical pencil. And so I looked and looked and looked and finally found these just online somewhere, some random um, paper pen store somewhere. I mean, it's, it's like a company that just, you know, sells office supplies. And I was able to get two boxes and when I got them, the boxes were all beat up like they had been there a while, but luckily the pens still write and they write really well. I also have the Bic Gelosity. Now they have changed these slightly. Um, they've got like several versions of this pen. So they have this, which has the cushion, you know, the silicone on the, the barrel that's supposed to make it feel really nice. And then they have this version, which is the um, 0 0.7 as well. And they're both gel pens. I uh, just don't know why they chose to make it in make it different. I don't know, maybe people didn't like it. I can tell you that the clips don't don't hold up. So don't try to clip this on anything and think that it won't break. Because that's the first thing that happened is I tried to clip it to a journal and it broke immediately. <laughs> but that's the only thing I was disappointed about. And then they came out with this version, which is more like a stick pen in the uh, 0 0.5. And let me tell you, these are well worth the money. They are very inexpensive. I see, I haven't even used this one yet. They are very inexpensive. Um, and if you wanted to, uh, you could replace the inside of it. Um, and they do have a set that comes in colors and they write really well. I got the black ones first, and then they was like, oh, colors, yeah, this colors. And I have stuck in here with these guys, the Bic Roller Glide. Um, 
it's 0 0.7. And I think I bought this in a set that was black, blue, and red. And I don't know if you can see, usually it can, there's no light coming through it, but, the, but it, it's made to where you can see through it to see your ink level. But the ink level on this pen is way down here where my thumb is compared to the, the whole length of the pen. I've used it a lot and it has a very nice grip on it. And I really don't know if you can get these anymore um, since they have changed over to basically the Gelocity pen. And um, that's the only one I have left. I do not know where the red one is or the blue one is. So I just stuck him in here with these guys um, since it was the same brand of pen. These are just an assortment. They really don't have a home yet. I was getting towards the end of filling everything up. And um, so I've got Energel, which is the uh, permanent ink. I can tell you this does not dry fast. So be careful if you want to use this for any archival reasons, it does not dry fast. Um, but it's still a nice pen. I have um, this Pentel. Bought this off of Amazon. Has a very nice tip on it. Very fine tip. Still, once the ink is gone, you cannot refill it. Um, I have a set of the Uniball Vision. It's a fine tip. Says it's waterproof, fade proof. Um, in my opinion, that's not really a fine tip. It probably writes more like a 0 0.7. And then just, um, like I said, I've got some pins in here that I need to make a home for them. Um, and see, here's another G2. It could go in the other box. And then I have the Bic Triumph. Sorry, keep getting these not quite where you can see them. Um, now this has a nice needle tip on it. And... It's funny, they say it's replaceable, but you are taking this whole thing out of just this. <laughs> so I'm like, why not just buy a whole new pen? Because you're throwing away practically, except for the cap and the outer barrel, you're throwing the whole thing away. So you might as well just buy a new one you're not really saving the environment very much if it's just a case around a barrel that takes up the whole length of the pen. And then I have a Uniball Vision Elite. And this is a very beautiful pen, but the way this is a very hard grip there's nothing cushiony about it. It writes really well, but it will give you hand fatigue very fast. And this is a nondescript pen that I think I got it at Staples. It come in a four pack and I loved it because it has this nice soft silicone barrel and it's uh, you click it through the um, clip on the pen um, to get it to open. And I've only kept one of these. I gave the rest of them away. Um, and sometimes I do that. I find a pen. I think it's cool. But it's not something that um, I know I'm going to write with all the time. And I'll just, I'll have somebody that I work with that, you know, I think a good bit of. And I'll be like, hey, you know, would you like this pen? You know, try it out. And see if you like it. And, you know, I'll tell them what I didn't like about it. And, but it might be a really great pen for them. They might really like it, even though there was something about it that I didn't really care for. And that's what I usually do. I don't throw them away or I take them back to the store. Um, I just give them away. I give them to other people. Um, but I do tell them what I didn't like about it in case they have the same kind of thing about their pens or how they like their pens to write. So I also have some 
Let me get that turned around. Uniball signal, Signo DX. This is the uh, 0.38. This is a really, really good writing pen. Um, you could buy a box of those and it will last you a tremendous amount of time because of how small the tip is, how little ink it uh, distributes, and it does distribute a nice even line of ink. Um, it does not skip. And um, it's just overall a good, good um, pen to write with. Um, especially in a journal, if you want something that is inexpensive and writes really well. Um, I also like, which I ordered from the Tokyo Pen Shop, um, the Black Bordeaux, which is kind of a dark burgundy. Um, and it writes really well too. Some of the other colors that I have that I bought in a pack at a retail store, uh, some write good and some skip. And I don't know if it's because of the way the ink is made with the, with the color in it that it just doesn't write well. Um, but, you know, I've actually just, those are the ones I can say that I have trashed that I would not bother trying to give those to someone knowing that they skip and don't write well. And I have went through them and pen tested them and kept the ones that actually do write well and the ones that didn't is usually the lighter colors and I just trashed them because I'm like I'm, I'm not gonna hang on to something that I have to, 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 to scratch on a piece of paper with over and over and over and over just to get a little bit of ink out of it it's not worth it and um, so I would get rid of them and also be wary of pens that are rainbow colored. Um, I have two different ones here. This one is made by the Right Dudes, which you can get these pens at Target. And they will write good for a while, but I don't understand what's going on back here. Cause you know, there's this gel plug that's supposed to keep the ink, you know, in that position to where it, it should just write. As soon as you take the cap off, it should just write. And they don't. Um, it's it's literally a fight. I mean, boy, and this sounds so stupid. I don't know if anybody else has ever had to do it. If they really like a pen. And these are, when they write, they write well. Um, is take it apart and basically blow. You know, put your lips around the end. Close, closed around the end of the barrel inside and just blow. And somehow, I don't know if that just pushes that gel down a little bit and it gets the pen to write for a while and um but I have not had that trouble with the super marble which is made by zebra and I just happened to come across these in Hobby Lobby one day and um they come in a pack of two just two pens and um but I have not had any trouble like that with this nor the Sarasa um, that comes in swirl, swirled colors. I have the cotton candy one in that one, but that's not in here. Um, and that's a click pen, and it writes really well. I've not had any trouble with that at all. And then in this box, I have uh, Juice Pilot pens in .5, and I also have some um, Sarasa 0.5s and I also have some uh, in the metallics of course obviously with metallic it has to be a little bit bigger 1.0 um, so I have those in here I'll hold that up and show it I don't think I've done that in the past couple of cases but that is what I have in these two boxes um, like I said, I've got a few more where I could definitely probably use two more of these cases. Um, they're just big enough for regular size pens, like all of these. Um, I do collect some novelty pens, like when I go on vacation, I'll go somewhere and they'll have, you know, they'll have these bigger pens. And I know you've seen them in the shops as well, or the, um, 
the kawaii i guess that's how you say it the k-a-w-a-r-i pens um, that have a very fine needle point um, they're pretty tall and i don't think they'd fit in here unless you buy a version that is just like a click pen which i do have some of those but i just I have so few of them they're just in a, in a can on my desk um, and those are a type of pen that they, they all write the same. They're all point fives. They're, they're, you know, they, they all just basically have the same barrel on the inside. It's just the outside looks different. You know, you can get ones that have cat paws on them, you know, all different characters, all different types of things. And they're really cute and they are fun to write with, but they won't fit in here. Um, so I have just a big Tupperware case that's got all of those pens in it and I've got pens in it from where I've went to Universal, where I've went to Disney, where I've, you know, like I said, went on vacations and just found pens and shops that we've went into. Um, but as far as your regular pen sets, shell pens, rollerball pens, um, things like that, I'm sure you wouldn't want to keep your fountain pens in something like this unless you've got like the, the packs, you know, like you can buy the Varsity that's by, I think they're by Pilot or, um, Zebra has a set of fountain pens that, um, yeah, that you can buy. Yeah, those, I can see putting them in something like this because they're not high end. And you could probably keep it in this along with the little cartridges that come with it. Um, but this is uh, really great. I did have all of these separated in cups. Can you imagine? Because this has, um... Let's see, 16 cases. So, and I, both of these boxes have pens in all of these cases. So you can imagine how many cups I had that was sitting on top of my little trolley and plus pen bags underneath in the next level of my trolley that I had these in. And I was able to clean out all the cups and the majority of my pen bags. I still have three pen bags that has pens in it, but they're, they're special pens, like one pen bag is just full of pens that I collected when I went on a trip to Scotland, and it's in a canvas bag that has different scenery on it from throughout Scotland, so those stay in that bag. They, they won't ever go in a box like this because they're just that special. And so, and, and, and also, you know, if you thought, well, today is a day I want to write my tool pens, you know, I want to take them with me. You could just take this case out, put it in, whatever, or if you have a small pen bag, you could just dump them in there. And then, you know, when you get back home, you can just put them back up and, you know, you could switch out your pens. And I kind of have those days where I feel like, oh, I want to write with a bold pen. I'm going to take those with me to work. Oh, I want to write with a gel pen. I want to write with some color pens. And, um, and I'll do that and I'll, and I might do that on a daily basis. I might do it on a weekly basis and then I'll just take these pens out or the three pen bags that I've already got filled. I'll just grab one of those as I'm going out the door and just take that with me. And I don't know if anybody else is that way about their pens, but yeah, I just, I have days where I'm like, yeah, I really like writing with this pen. And then I have days where I'm like, eh, I'm not so happy with this, but I still like it and I'm going to put it up and keep it anyway because I might have another use for it in journaling or, um, or writing in my planner, you know, whatever I want to use it for. But um, I hope you got some, some inspiration out of this. Um, it definitely takes a while to sort through pens and put them in the same cases if you want to sort, you know, whether you want to sort them by color, by gel type, but by um, ink type, um, or by brand, it will take a little while because you have to just get them all out and drop them in the boxes and just, yeah, it'll take a while. But in the end, it'll be, they'll all be together. They'll be with their own, each individual little families and, um, and it, they won't be hard to find. So I hope you enjoyed this video. I know it was lengthy, but I did want to show you off the, all the pens that were in these boxes because I know some people are like, what's in that box? Just open the box. Just show me what's in the box. I'm that way about videos. When people start talking about stuff, they're like, I'm, I'm just like, just open the box. Just show me. Show me. Open the box. Okay, so I've rambled on enough. So, 
Um, like I said, at Hobby Lobby. Michaels also sells this exact same setup. Um, they come in color boxes on the inside. They come with clear boxes on the inside. Um, you know, clear boxes might work for some folks if you just want to at a glance see what your pins are. I did buy some more ribbon for my label maker because I intend on putting labels on here as to what brand they are since that's how I have them separated and, um, and eventually take the sticker off. I just left it on so I could make this video and you can see exactly what brand this is. Um, and the pr original price of it, um, but I would wait until they are on sale. You know, Hobby Lobby has a lot of their stuff, it's like 50% off, and since they've changed up a lot of stuff in their store now, they do not offer that 10% off an individual item anymore. I was actually in line and heard a um, cashier say that. They do not do that any longer. And now Michaels, if you sign up with them, they still send you your coupons by email and, you know, tell you when they expire. And, um, and if you go to Office Depot slash Office Max and use your card there, your little discount card that only used to give you a discount if you bought um, printer paper in bulk. Um, I've noticed the past couple of times that I've went, I think they've slightly changed their policy or um, how you get rewards um, because I've noticed that I'll buy an item and on the um, screen it will be discounted slightly so my total is not as much as I thought it was so I think they've heard people say you know I would like to get some type of discount because if I shop here and constantly give you my card, you know, not everybody's going to come in there and buy a 12 pack of paper or a case of paper. Nobody, you know, I, I wouldn't. I, I don't use paper at home like that and I don't own my own business. So I would never do that. I mean, at the most, I might need a pack of paper and that would last me a tremendously long time. So, um, if you didn't know that, um, just know that next time you go in there and, um, say you pick up a pack of pens, it's $5.99, but if you let them scan your card or give them your telephone number, however it gets pulled up, um, it might be $4 and something. They're, they're going to give you something off of your purchase. Um, so you will be walking out of there with it being a little less. It's not tremendous by no means, unless you're buying something on clearance and then I don't know how that works. I don't know if you actually get a, a slight discount on top of the clearance price, but um, but I have noticed that. did want to share that. And again, the Hobby Lobby does not do the 10% off an individual item anymore. Um, so you just kind of have to go on the, the weeks or days that they do have the steep discounts, like um, when they have their um, paper craft, stickers and washi tape and stuff like that you know 50 percent off um you just kind of have to wait and go on those days and michael's still gives you um again coupons you can still do that 20 percent off of that one item you know if you go online you find that coupon they can scan it while you're checking out they'll give you 20 percent off of, of the one item um, they still do that so, I um, hope you guys have a great Sunday. I probably will not upload this video till tomorrow because um, I live out in the country and do not have Wi-Fi. And uh, so I have to wait till I get to work and do that on my lunch and use the um, free Wi-Fi that they have there for our patients. And, um, and it uploads very quickly there. So I get the video, the intro, the video, the music, and everything prepared um, beforehand. So when I go to lunch and it'll upload around noon, um, everything will just be there. I just have to label or title the video and then it will be there. But again, hope you enjoyed this. Sorry about rambling. Um, hope I gave you some good information and um, hope you liked my pins. Uh, I do still have more pins, unfortunately. I do have a problem. And um, which I'll be showing those off as I get more time to do these videos. Um, I try not to let this consume my whole weekend. I do have other things I like to do. 
like what were my journals um <laughs> so thank you for watching uh thank you for being with me for this video and um i hope you keep watching because i'm definitely going to keep posting and again have a great day